Hello and welcome to episode 4 of me playing Skyrim. Um, like I mentioned last episode, I was looking for a mod that would make uh, unread skillbooks glow uh, like I used to have in the original version of the game. I could not find a similar one for the special edition, unfortunately. Um, I also went through the... Blah, blah, blah. I read through the skill descriptions uh, to refresh myself, and for this uh, for this level, I gave myself a stamina boost, and I gave myself steel smithing. Uh, we're still in Bleak Falls Barrow, and uh, Mr. Guy was here. There's a. There's gonna be a. Yeah. The fox spider. God, this thing is huge. God. Jeez. Venom. Tasty fox venom. Desiccated corpse with a lockpick on it. You can wait. Get me down. Get me down. Oh god, hi. Gotta love physics. Help me. Help. Okay. Help me. Help. You over here. Hi. You did it, you killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Where's the golden claw? I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door, the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Uh, Sweet breath of arcade, thank you. And I know he just runs ahead. It's coming loose. I can feel it. You fool. Why should yeah. I share the treasure with anyone? Yeah. Yeah, he'll end up dead. Got empty, empty. Bombing tools. Yeah, empty. There you are. The Golden Claw. A journal. Why not? I normally don't actually read books, but let's read this one. My fingers are trembling. The Golden Claw is finally in my hands, and with it, the power of the ancient Nordic heroes. That fool Lucan Valorous had no idea that his favorite store decoration was actually the key to Bleak Falls Barrow. Now I just need to get the Hall of Stories and lock the door. Legend says it's a test that the North Wind plays to keep the underworthy way. When you have the Golden Claw, the solution is in the palm of your hands. Cool. Uh, drop. Let me loot you. There we go. This one's dead, dead. Yeah, I see you. You're not sneaky. You're not clever. 
nor you. Cool. I feel like I should be able to provide more commentary on this, but it's literally just what it is. Killing things dead. Yes, God. I should be blocking more because blocking is a skill and I want skill levels. God. Okay, we're blocking each other. Yay. Jump change, but it's change all the same. Uh, nah. Chip Nord arrow, a damage of nine. Yes. Good. Uh, favorite, unfavorite store. Treasure chest. Unlock. Cool. Minor healing, potion of true shot. Drinking water. Uh, activate. Are they standing in the fire and dying? No, they're being smart and waiting. Weird how they still have hair. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like, shouldn't it have decomposed a long time ago? Bone meal. Tasty bone meal. Does you good. Nothing around here. Okay, uh, Ben's sword. Summon it. It sounds like a dog barking whenever I summon it. That's kind of weird. Slap. Yep. 
Oh, I did forget to mention when I was looking for the book mod, I found a different useful mod that makes it so that uh, merchants don't run out of money for when I sell them things. Uh, so that was uh, something I downloaded. That's going to be useful. This mushrooms is this? A troll skull. Because everyone wants one of those. Said no one. Mushroom, 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 mushroom. I wonder what makes them glow. Wishes? Hopes and dreams? Uh, I remember how this goes. This is just a lookout point. But there's stuff I could snipe. Yes. So we will do that. God. Stop moving. Stop moving. Stop moving. Got him. This is why I'm not good at, like, FPSs. I'm not the best aim. I always just wait for stuff to stop moving. Which isn't very useful in a very fast-paced environment. Uh, like, I have tried playing Fortnite and other games like that, and, like, I got, like, items and uh, costumes for it, but I just, I just lose interest very fast. Uh... And like I've mentioned before, it just gets really stressful. Hello, dead skier. How are you? Great. Uh, God. Who is locking these random trunk chests found in a ruin? And who's just leaving 17 gold inside of them and 9 in their dead body? And there's nothing there, but I like looking. It's not especially faster moving without a weapon drawn than it is without, right? I like how taking some of the mushrooms doesn't reduce from the glow. That sounded like I was supposed to give follow-up, huh? But no. Uh, I probably can't make an arrow go through this. So I thought. I thought wrong. See how many arrows I have. Uh, and if I move my avatar to the other side of the screen, I wouldn't be able to see my favorites. So, not knowing how many arrows I have is just going to have to be the standard. Uh, there, there's no path up there. This way? No. This way. Yes. I'll use lockpicks to get more lockpicks. The cycle of life continues. Uh, the Bleak Falls Sanctum. Uh, da -da. Da -da do do do. The sound of traps. Okay. Cool. Yeah! 
Good. Hi. Yeah, walk into the fire. As I do nothing to defend myself. And shank and slash. And there's nothing here. There's a potion of pickpocketing. I never really got into pickpocketing. Which is just a shame because the max level skill just lets you steal stuff off people's backs. Like their armor and whatnot. Okay. Um, yeah, there's this table of stuff. Potion of resist cold. Nothing else. there's supposed to be something here to necessitate these oils? No. The door. Oh, there's the main chamber. And the dragon priests. Uh, keys? Mysic. Gold claw. Uh, can I equip? Ah, there we go. Whip. And here we go again. Uh, bear moth owl. Bear. Bear moth owl. Okay. And twist a little. I mean, I think they're moths and owls. They're probably moths and owls. Okay. We'll sh sheathe. Seethe. Sheave. I'm not good with saying what's like that just as a refresh and then the boss will come out of the thing right after I get the word word gotten Take a level now and give myself some health. Oh, I've got two levels. Uh, I'll give myself another stamina. Um, I like light armor, so we'll give that. Uh, give myself an archery. And. I don't have any more perk points, okay. The dragon stone, which weighs a ton. Uh, enchanted thing to break down. Uh, weak frenzy poison, soul gem. Like, where do I put it away into? Uh, an orcish bow. Uh, take garnet. Hide helmet of minor magicka. Uh, copper onyx circlet. Okay, um. Uh, weapons. Uh. Agent Nordbow damage 11. 
Orcish bow, damage 14. Favorite. Uh, unfavorite. Apparel. Uh, Imperial light armor. It's less defended than what I'm currently wearing, and I don't really need more Magicka anyway. So I'll just break that. Uh, I feel like there were bonus goodies hidden around. Yeah, like here. There's always bonus goodies hidden around, you just have to look. God. No. There we go. Do, 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 do. Looted. Uh, I, I feel like I should mention I've also played the Elder Scrolls Online a little bit. Um, it's an interesting concept, but I don't like how restrictive like the classes were. Uh, and I only played it a little bit, so that's kind of whatever. Uh, here's the other one. Um, but what I was really confused about was how their Thieves Guild works. Because it's... You just go into random houses, grab whatever in an MMO with other people around. That that didn't really make sense to me. Um, and it probably didn't make sense because I didn't spend a lot of time on it, but that's just how I felt about it. Uh, but I did like how otherwise anyone could wear, uh, use any weapons and get like skill points for that. But having to earn points and like find skill points through the shards out in the wild, that just seemed weird. Like it uh, encouraged exploration, but it wasn't really that interesting to me. Uh, we will not desecrate this uh, altar. Uh, we will go to Skyrim. Um, I don't know if I would try to get back into the Elder Scrolls Online, uh, anytime soon. Either Bloodstain. Um, mostly because, uh, I've got a lot of other games I need to eat through. Uh, and I don't know if taking on another MMO would be, like, smart time-wise. But maybe someday, in the far-flung future. No, I... You're just a normal fox. You're not a spider fox. Right? Right? Uh, that one's the Guardian Stones. Um, are there any other nearby things? that I can get on my map. And I've got the conjuration equipped. There, I know I cast it. Cast it. Okay. Whatever then. Uh, the South Br Brittle Shin Pass. Are you that same fox from before? This fort is the one for the Star of Azura quest, I think.
guess it's like submerged and it was annoying trying to figure out how to get in before uh, let's get this on the map and then check out that stone which I think was the lady stone yeah Illinata's deep Uh, the heck is that in the water? Is that just a deer? Yeah, that's just a deer. Goodbye, deer. Uh, but yeah. There's probably slaughterfish in the water or something. Or not. That's pleasant. Or is this the Atronach stone? No, this was the Lady Stone. Uh, hey lady, what's up? I regenerate stuff more f quickly. No thanks. Um. Blah, blah, blah. Let's get this mill on the map, I guess. Orange Darkwing. There's a point where you can actually see stuff underwater. Catch salmon. The half moon mill. There's an enemy close by. What is my enemy? On. Okay. Was this the one where the people are vampires? They are awfully close to the Daedric Scholar guy or whatever. Yeah, you're the vampire. Get an axe and a guest? Oh my. What locations? We to the south. Until recently, we supplied Helgen. Felgreath trades with the surrounding holds, and without our wood, they would have trouble keeping their prices low. Do you get many guests? We have guests as often as we can, but there aren't a lot of travelers these days. The war keeps people off the roads. Until next time. I respect you, Miss Vampire, but please don't. Please don't give me the vampire sucky suck. Uh. Leather. Make leather. Make leather. Just cuz. Um, flowers, flowers, chicken coops. Flowers, 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 flowers. Flowers, flowers, flowers. Um, yeah, I think that's enough exploration for that. Well, let's go to Dragon's Reach. Uh, the axe with the face. Uh, Wuthrod. Uh, and we are actually close to the 30 minute mark. So after this loads, uh... Well, I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. Yeah, okay, Isolde. Good for you. Um, we'll stop the episode for now. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next one.